Hi, thanks for joining me today. If you're not familiar with me, my name is Lisa. I share tips and strategies to help you with your online business using automation and duplication. My marketing business has a focus on developing strong relationships and my clients are entrepreneurs who want to stand out from their competition and manage their reputations and legacies. So in the daily grind of work that sucks our souls out, we have long forgotten to allow ourselves the gift of time. Today, our total dependence on the digital world for work as well as entertainment has us bound in a vicious cycle of a virtually existing world. Even with the slightest deviation, the unknown can happen. Do we live in this predefined cycle, which some say is a monotonous path that leaves us with no clue about how to work efficiently? Well, the same thing happened on the evening of October 4th when the social media networking site Metaverse, previously known as Facebook, and all of its subsidiaries, including Instagram, Messenger, and WhatsApp, became globally inaccessible for about six hours. With around 3 billion users, the platform saw its second longest downtime stretch after a one day long outage in 2008. Ironically, yesterday we learned the new name, Meta or Metaverse, provides a new umbrella term for the companies that artists formerly known as Facebook owns Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger, and yes, Facebook. The shutdown, though, was undoubtedly a massive blow to many who solely depend on these platforms to earn their bread and butter for their family. In addition, many digital marketers, content creators, and small online business owners on these platforms were seen ranting about the loss they had to bear due to the unavailability of these services. On the other hand, some from the same fraternity later posted about how the shutdown provided something that urged them to get out of their bubbles and look for new ideas. So those six hours with no social media let people spend more time with themselves, getting the rust out of their minds. And this time period let them explore and bring out a lot of amazing and innovative ideas to give their business the right direction. Well, keep in mind that social media is a rented platform. You couldn't build on that day back on October 4th. So you need to build your own platform by creating your own website. Social media is a great way to build an audience through a larger reach, but remember to bring them back to your website to get their email address in order to get them to consume your content to convert them into buying customers. Your website allows you to build your brand. So in the end, it all depends on the approach that you take. We should always look to benefit ourselves from the opportunities like these and get the best out of every situation. So look for new content ideas, add a pinch of creativity, polish them with your skills and experience, and you're good to go. Were you one of those who spent the whole outage waiting for the sites to come back to normal and, and couldn't make much out of it? Most importantly, don't let change hold you back, especially when you've never met a someone who's tried so hard to stay relevant. Don't worry, I've got you covered. Visit my website to get in touch with me and let me give you your business the boost that you've always been looking for. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you found value in what I shared for more useful content like this visit my website. You can subscribe to my email series. Thanks again. I look forward to seeing you next time.